What's up guys, I'm Nico of Cam Crunch, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to convert your colored images into black and white images with Adobe Lightroom and how to edit them from there. And the image that I'm going to edit today is this image that I took in Japan. It's on a boat. And the reason why I chose to edit this image for this tutorial is because of the different colors that are present in the photo. We have the red from the boat, the yellow from the railing, the blue from the sea, as well as several other different colors in the shirts of the people. So that's why I chose to edit this picture today. So the first thing you want to do is convert your image into a black and white image. And you do that using this treatment setting here on the top of your basic panel. A lot of people just desaturate their image using the saturation tab, pulling it to negative 100. But the right way to do it is by clicking the black and white setting on the treatment panel. You can go back to your color, switch back to black and white. You can also do it by clicking black and white down here in the HSL color and black and white panel, but that's something that we're going to do a little bit later. So now that we've converted our image into a black and white image, you can then make your basic adjustments using the basic panel. So you can adjust your exposure, you know, recovery fill light blacks, all the stuff that you want to change in your image to make it look better. This is what you are initially going to do. You can change brightness, uh, clarity, and as you can see, the vibrance and the saturation are blacked out because that is something that you won't need to tamper with when you are editing a black and white image. So after you are content with the settings that you have made in the basic panel, you want to go down to the black and white panel in the HSL color and black and white tab. So you click that and what you will see is a bunch of different sliders with colors. And the reason why they are separated this way is because these sliders will affect the color that was in the original colored image. So if we go back to the colored image down here, if you switch the red slider, you will affect the red area. If you move the blue one, you will affect the stuff that's blue. If you move the yellow slider, you'll affect the stuff that was yellow. So let's go back to the black and white slider here and let's see what these different settings do. And the reason why I want to show you guys this setting is because this can affect the overall contrast of an image and the overall look which really dictates how your picture will look. You can make things less contrasty if you don't want them to, if you don't want your viewers to be attracted to that area, and you can make it have more contrast by changing the colors if you want your viewer to really be attracted to that area. So what we're going to first change is this floor on the boat. And that floor, if you guys remember, was red. So we're going to move this red slider. I don't like how dark it is, so I'm going to make it lighter. As you can see, it's slowly getting lighter and I want it quite light actually. So 75 looks really good to me. I don't like the dark floor because it had way too much contrast with the people and it really left a hole in that bottom side of the image. It really made it heavy and made my, you know, I really just stuck to that bottom part of the image. So I wanted to lighten it up, lighten it up to uh, decrease the contrast in that area. And I think it looks a lot better that way. So now we're going to mess with the yellow of the railing. Um, let's see what brightening it does. And, you know, as you might have guessed, it doesn't really do anything because that railing is really bright. So let's try to bring it down. And it gets pretty dark. You can actually make it completely black. But I'm not sure if I actually like how that looks. So I'm going to bring it back down, back up to around negative 10 maybe. So around negative 10, I actually like how that looks. So now we're going to mess with the C, which was blue. Let's see what moving it up does. Makes it a little bit lighter, not too much. Hmm. Let's see what bringing it down does to a negative setting. And I, I actually like how, how dark it's turning with that. So I'm pretty content with how this looks right now. Some of the sliders won't really do anything. It really depends on how much of that color you actually have in the image. So I'm pretty content with that how that looks now. But what I find with this image is that the corners are a little bit bright. So to me, that allows the image to really fall off to the corners. And I really want the viewer's eyes to be stuck within the image. So what I'm going to do is add a vignette. And I like using the post crop vignette in the effects tab. 
because it will affect your image the same way regardless of whether you cropped your image or not. So I, I just like going straight to that. I'm going to add the vignette by putting the amount to a negative setting. And I'm starting to like how that looks, but I think it's seeping too much into the middle. So what I'm going to do is change the midpoint to a plus setting. It's going to pull the vignette out to the corners a little bit. Maybe change the roundness a little bit and then feather it just a little bit. And I'm pretty content with this image right now. I like how it looks. What do you guys think? Do you guys have this image like how this image looks? And that's basically it. That's how I convert my images into black and white and how I edit them from there. So first I use the basic panel, convert it to black and white with the treatment tab. And then I do my basic settings on the basic panel. Then I go to the black and white panel in the HSL color and black and white tab, adjust the sliders from there. And then depending on the image and how it looks, I will, I may or may not adjust the post crop vignette so that's it guys. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like the video, favorite it, the video, share it if you want to. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.